hello guys welcome to the channel i hope you all are doing well so today we are going to make a pong game in unity this will be the part one so let's start first we will open the unity hub to create a new project so let's open it we are going to use the visual scripting we will use the units which are called nodes in other softwares so let's see how we can do it okay this is unity hub here click on the projects and then new project or uh, name here project okay. okay and choose the folder location also i will choose here okay and then click on create project okay let's don't forget to choose click on the 2d urp it will take some time to load the libraries and all that stuff so please wait for it so here is the unity interface so let's start here is the outliner here is the property panel this is our viewport here are the two tabs game and scene tab first i will make the game tab to the side of it so we can see both here is our project assets here you can see assets so here we will store all our sprites icons and also the downloaded assets so first of all make sure to go to the window pack package manager and into this visual scripting and then install it it's already installed so i will close it make sure to install this visual scripting so next thing i will i would like to do is putting this hierarchy into here so it will give me the similar interface to the blender one so let's first start by creating by making the background color to the black so click on the main camera here is the property panel in in unity it is called as inspector so scroll down and here is the option of environment under it it there is a background type change it to solid color and choose the color you want i would like to go with the black first you can change it at any time so that is not to worry and another setting is to change the aspect ratio here change it to 16 as to 9 it matches our full hd and then we will add a ball right click here create 2d sprites and choose circle and name it ball ball okay i would like to create a folder here to store all the sprites so i will create one folder name it sprite and drag this to this folder okay then drag this sprite into the outliner so you will get our ball here uh, here is the options to transform i would like to scale it low click here to link those so you can gradually scale it down okay i will go with 0 0.7 okay it's good this is our ball you can change the color from here okay let's make it Mm, I think blue. Okay, let's let's make it blue. Another thing. Okay, we will add first our player sprites. So again, left click, right click, create two D sprites and square. I will name it player sprite. Okay drag it also into the outliner so you will get a square 
let's position this into i want this to here and also want to scale down on the x axis and scale up on the y axis okay this looks so uh, fine okay 0.5 55 okay it's good we will add on another slide for the another player so i will duplicate it and place it to the positive x-axis rename it this one to the ball this one to the player one this will be player two okay all good i would like to change their color from here this will be the blue one and this one will be the red one or green one okay let's make it red i think ball color should be green rgb yes you can choose as you want i would like to scale this down a little bit on y axis 4 3.5 okay this looks fine okay done next we will create the bounding box for it which uh, will be the walls i would like to duplicate okay well, i will drag here okay i would like to scale it on the x axis for the top wall this will be around 18 okay, and this will go to the top let's make it 4.8 here is the canvas you can also see here here are some options to transform but i would like to go with the values so i would name it all top and also duplicate it okay before duplicating i would like to change its color okay, let's choose the dark yellow okay this looks good i will duplicate it and put it on the negative y axis so it will come here and also rename it to the wall bottom okay all done now we we need the left and right wall i will duplicate it and also reset it okay this will be the line 9.5 okay and on the x axis so i will scale it down and also move it towards here minus 8.67 okay 8.7 and then rename it all left and all right Okay, this will be on the positive axis and I would also like to move this player a little bit not this one okay minus 7.6 
and this one also 7.6 okay all done this is our main outline so now how the logic works is these objects will be contain some physics so we will add some physics properties to them and also setting their velocities according how we want it so let's start click on the ball add component and first we will add the rigid body make sure to select the rigid body 2d here are some options check it out first one is change the gravity to zero okay and also i would like to freeze the rotation here is one option for the material as we want the ball to bounce on these walls so we will need to add the bounce material on this so let's create it go to the assets right click create folder and name it materials double click here right click create 2d and physics material 2d okay and name it bounce you will get the option for this here two properties are here friction and bounciness make the friction to 0 and bounciness to 1.1 okay you can change it later as you want so click on the ball and here into the material slot just drag it there and done now next physics next component to be added to this is collider so it can collide with other assets so let's add the circle collider 2d here here no need to add the material here because we have added it already so this is for the ball and again choose the player 1 and player 2 for player 1 let's add the rigid body rigid body 2d make the gravity scale to 0 ok and also add the collider this time box collider 2d as this is the box shape ok no changes needed into the rigid body you need to freeze the rotation and also we don't want to move our player on the x axis so freeze also the x okay all done do the same for the another player box collider 2d and then uh, rigid body 2d make it 0 in constraints freeze rotation and freeze x axis so for the walls we will need to add the collider component to this so for adding the component to the multiple items just click on the first one and then pressing shift click on the last one add component this time also box collider 2d Okay. okay all done for it so let's here is a play button to actually play the game it will give the live preview of how our game will behave okay nothing happening because we need to add the velocity for this so it will move as the game starts so click on the ball let's minimize it click on the add component and type the script machine s c r i p t script machine ok here it is and here let's click on new 
and we would like to create another folder for the scripts let's make it and let's make the ball script can save it and here it is and then click on the edit graph it will open the new window for the graph editing it's not the graph it's actually connecting the units as we call the nodes in other software so let's do it drag it and drop it here okay this is the script graph window here are the two events on start and on update this one is to set actions as the game starts and this this event will happen only after we give some input or we update any keys or like that so for the ball we need to smooth it as the game start so let's delete this one for this one need to set some velocity for it so it will move either here or here so drag it and here is the unit called set velocity okay here it is the set velocity rigid body but we need the rigid body 2d so as you scroll down here it is rigid body 2d set velocity here we can set the velocity here is the axis input so just drag it and click on create vector here we get the two vectors x and y separately so we can set the random values for here so just drag it and type random random range here okay and set the values here so it will pick the random value and assign it to the x well we need to duplicate this for the x axis also so click it control d move it here and just connect it okay so first for experiment i would like to add minus 8 and plus 8 here I think this can be 2 you can for y it uh, will be for getting these values you can check the wall height so for all left our scale is 9.5 so this is the 9.5 so I would like to add the minus 5 to plus 5 Okay, this is actually the height will be 10 and this also difference is 10 so it can go from here to here but i will also like to move i also like to set its velocity so it can collide here also so i would like to it minus 8 to it okay now we check what is happening press ctrl s to save the game let's play it ok now the ball is moving and also colliding with the objects so it's running so to add the moment to the players go to the edit project settings and under the input manager here under the access click on this arrow you will get this access default access we need the vertical one so rename it to player 1 uh, choose the keys for the player 1 I will I will choose for the negative button keep in mind needs to set up the key for the negative axis so for the player 1 it will be the S and for up it will be W for my player 1 for player just remove it for player 2 we need to copy this one only copy and paste here yeah. rename it to player 2 
and change the buttons to the down and up okay this is it i just remember this process go to the edit project settings under the input manager under the access name the access here important step for the player movements so click on player one add component script machine to add the graph click on the new under the scripts name it to player one here your two events are there also so we want our player to move when we press any key or give an update to it so we need on update event only let on start so we need to set the velocity for it also so just drag it set velocity just keep in mind it is rigid body 2d set velocity otherwise it will not work drag it create vector so we need to move our player on the y axis so we need the variable for it so here it is already but i will create new one so name it to player speed we are creating variables because we need these values so we can change them if required so we do not need to go into the graph and search for the value we can simply come here and change it from here so it may, makes easier to change the values click on the plus type to the float and change the value to 2 ok just click and drag it here are some options to create variable in which one so here is graph object scene app and save when we create the variable in scene we can access it into the different scenes we are going to make two scenes so you will get to know what are the scenes here so we need also the input we defined the access for it so just right click add node and get access keep in mind get access row and name it as same as you mentioned it into project settings so name it player 1 we need to multiply these two for get our logic so let's add the multiply node and connect it here all done this is for the player movement this is for player 1 we need to make another one for, for player 2 let's play it first yes it's working and the ball is also bouncing ok let's stop it let's add the same script to our player 2 we cannot add this add the script same here we need to create another because here we have defined the axis which is not same for the player 2 just click on new new script for player 2 ok just delete on start we need on update drag it set velocity just keep in mind 2d drag it and create vector for y axis we need the speed variable just drag it here need the axis input add node get axis and name the axis name as same as you defined in the project settings 
player to need to multiply these two so also add multiply to disconnect the axis here just go here and right click click on the y so all will work now i think the project player speed must be increased so i will make it 3 so let's see how it works okay it's working player speed can be more okay let's increase the speed to 4 and it's all for the today the part 2 we will see how to make the winner scene add the score here and also make the main menu so it will be in the part 2 so stay tuned for that subscribe to the channel and like the video and also check out my other videos so take care and see you into the next video